you understand but i was in one state and then had access to the six geopolitical zone when i when i do my show i go feedback from j town how did i know j town is j town because of the show it's just to me but i was educated and i said to me hey just is not is j town the whole of j town plugged to the show mm. because it's reggae dance and music half of Port Packard plucked to the show because it's, 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 it's a reggae dancer show. Abuja, half of Abuja. I'm saying what I'm saying because of the feedbacks I get. You know why I'm asking this question? Please. Yeah, feedback, reggae dance or music. Mm -hmm. but are there new songs coming up? Do we have many reggae yes. musicians in Nigeria new, that can fill up the big shoe mm. that Raskimono has left behind? That mm. is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now th there's an artist in Joss. His name is uh, Jar Device. Jar Device will fit into the shoes of Magic Fashek. Why mm. do I say that? Because I know him. I've seen his music. Google him. If this is this is information. Google him. You in fact you can even play the song live on TV for everybody to see his video. Now Magic Fashek has done. He's a legend. But as somebody who has taken this niche and I've worked, this is almost 20 years I've been doing this. So I know a lot of these artists and I know they've been underground. Jar Device will step into the shoes of Majek Fashek. Now, who will step into the shoes of uh, 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 Raskimono? I have not been able to see that in a complete artist, but I've seen that in a spread of artists. Because whether you like it or not, uh, uh, Raskimono was like a buju was like a Buja Bantan to us. Mm. Because if you, if, you, if you check it, he, his song was vibrant. Yeah. He was a reggae Very strong. dance mm. artist. Some were doing core cool reggae. Mm. But Kimono had that vibe about him. So he balances the song between reggae and dancehall. Mm. So that's why I've not seen all the new crops of artists coming up now who I would say, yo, this person is the one who would actually come out. And, and when he sings it, I see a Kimono in this youth. I haven't been able to see, see that in one artist. Yeah, but the, the new generation now, mm. uh, I'll deduce this from the, the, the question she asked earlier, the, the new generation mm. of singers we have now and even uh, those who consume mm. the music and mm. the song that is being churned out now, mm. will they really appreciate the values, the, mm. the, the genre of music? and the kind of music and messages that someone like Ras Kimono and people at their time played out? Yes, they will. Okay. It, it, it all has to do with the trend. You understand? Recently, uh, uh, Kimono and Popo Oris Wiliki, they did a new song, uh, SH, uh, Shoot Him Down Syndrome. Hmm. The way they approached it wasn't like the way they did the song in the 80s, not even in the 90s, because the truth of the matter is the genre has evolved. Now, it's, it's a question of fusion. Okay. And we see that fusion in the recent song that Popo Oris and Raskimono have done. These are two great legends. Mm. But if you listen to that song, the content...